Good afternoon. Happy Thursday. We're getting ready for the 5 p.m. live workout. A uh, few things that you may need. Um, you may need a chair because we're going to do a little bit of balance work at the end. So if you need that for support, just for the balance part, grab a chair real quick. Um, and then uh, some water, obviously, to keep yourself hydrated. You can use weights with this workout. I'll be demonstrating with weights. If you don't have weights, like here, I picked up two water bottles or, you know, that I've got in the house with 20 ounces. So it's a little over a pound. So you can use those as well for some of the exercises. So it's up to you. All right. We'll give it just a few minutes here. Until we get folks on the line. Looks like we got some sort of a, a weird thing going on with the page. And so I don't know if I'll be able to see your comments or not. So we'll give it just a minute here. It's about to add minute before go time. It's just interesting. I, you know, oh, I do see you, Catherine. So good. Um, there's a new button that popped up here. So I wasn't sure if people were going to be able to comment or not. So excellent. I know we should have a couple more people coming on, on, so we'll give it just a minute here. So today's, the concentration on today's workout is going to be upper body, uh, primarily upper body, and then we're also going to do some core work, uh, and, you know, that'll include a little bit of balance work with the core work. So we'll get it going here in just a few. All right. Well, I know we should have a couple more coming on because I spoke to Kat, uh, Carolyn and Mark, I think are supposed to be coming on. So we'll give it a minute here. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to go ahead and get started and hopefully they'll be able to get on here in just a second. So um, we're going to start out with a nice warm up. And then we'll go into the weight training and then we'll have a cool down at the very end. So we're going to start it out. I want to start out with just a jog in place. So you can either go with your just your knees or, you know, just bringing your knees up or you can jog it out. It's up to you. Hold that tummy in tight the whole time we're warming up. Try to train those stomach muscles to make that core stronger. And breathe. Fill those lungs with air. All right, let's bring this down. We're going to take it to jumping jacks. So low impact is here. Really get those arms going, those feet going, and higher impact right here. Make sure you're breathing. All right, keep it going. Okay, let's bring this down. Why don't you take that and bring those knees across the body here. Really focusing on using those obliques as you pull that knee up across the body. Keep going. Nice job. All right, keep those legs moving. Okay, we're gonna bring it down. I'm gonna have you bring your arms up here. We're gonna pull our arms back Really squeeze your shoulder blades and bring that leg back at the same time. There you go. A few more minutes or seconds here. We'll have everything warmed up. All right, so let's bring those legs down here. I want you to roll those shoulders back. Getting them ready and then let's roll them forward. Okay, let's take these arms out to your arms out to the side. I want you to take one with the palm up, one with the palm down, and we're going to switch back and forth. 
Getting those shoulders ready for that workout we're gonna have here. Keep it going. Keep breathing. A few more here. I think this is like the walk like an Egyptian thing. All right, last one. Okay, roll those shoulders back again. Okay, we're gonna bring the arms out and I want you to palms down, just small circles. Breathe and now backwards. Switch those palms to up. Keep it going backwards and now forwards. Tummy should be in tight. All right, let's roll those shoulders back. Okay, we got just a few seconds before we're gonna get started here. And I still don't see Carolyn and Mark, so I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, hopefully they'll catch the recorded version. So, okay, let's start out with bent over rows. I'm gonna use some lighter weights today because I've got a little bit of shoulder problem going on here. So I'm not gonna go real heavy. That's obviously up to you, uh, what your body is capable of. So we're going to be here bending that back uh, but hinging actually at the waist, um, keeping that back straight. Okay, so we're gonna have the weights down here, and I want you to pull those weights up and back. Squeeze your shoulder blades as you do that. Keep it going, keep that tummy super tight, and your glutes tight, which will help protect your low back. Keep going. We got five more seconds here. Three, two, let's get one more here. Squeeze it tight and release. Okay, we're gonna go for flies next. So I'm gonna go with a much lighter weight here and I'm going to just bring, I'm gonna use that same hinging motion with my body, tummy in tight, legs tight. I'm gonna have my weights here and I'm gonna bring them out here to the side and really squeeze my shoulder blades together. So here's what it looks like from the front. Squeeze your shoulder blades as you get to that level, that T, as I like to call it. Let's go here. Keep those knees bent, tummy in tight, glutes tight. And let's breathe. Keep going. Here we go. Let's get five more. Here's five, four, three, Keep it going, two, and last one. Okay, roll those shoulders back, okay? Like I said, I have a tight shoulder here, so I'm, I'm uh, doing a little more rolling there. Okay, hinge again forward, okay? Glutes are tight, tummy sucked in, and pull those weights up, squeezing it at the top. Keep it going. Keep going there. Squeeze that tummy in. Squeeze those arms up. Got a few more here. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one. All right. Okay, we're gonna take a little bit of a break here. You got a little bit of time, roll those shoulders back one at a time, grab a drink. All right. Catch your breath real quick. Okay, got a little bit of time here. Keep breathing. Catch that breath. We're going to switch over. We're going to do punches. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go with a lighter weight. Once again here, choose a weight that's appropriate for you. We're going to have our knees slightly bent. So you're here. Okay, I want the tummy in tight. I want the glutes squeezed. So you're kind of squeezing those legs to squeeze the glutes there. We're going to take the weights up here. Okay, I want you to bring your elbows even and you're going to punch it out. Let's go. Working those shoulders. Take it at your pace. The whole time, though, keep your tummy tight. You're using those arms for that motion. 
rather than your hips. Keep it going. Nice. All right, let's bring that down. We're gonna to go to a shoulder press after those punches. We'll come back to the punches again. Your shoulder press is going to be here and you're going to press it up and bring it back down, okay? So we're really focused on those shoulders right now. Okay, so you choose a weight that's appropriate for you. Let's bring it here, same stance. Knees are slightly, legs are tight, your glutes are squeezed, tummy is sucked in. Bring them here and let's press it up. Touch them at the top. And I noticed that my, uh, can't see my hands at the top, but touch it at the top right there. And let's go. Keep it going. Squeeze it up. Got just a few more here. Let's go for three. So before we get started on the punches, let's take our forehead forward up to this right, stopping at your shoulder, roll it back to center, roll it to left, back to center. Okay, so we're going to start with those punches again. I want the time squeezed and let's punch it out. Go at your pace. Keep those arms solid. If you can't keep your arms straight, Finish it up. Nice job. Roll those shoulders again as we're going back for that shoulder press. We're going to take those weights overhead in just a couple of seconds here. Catch your breath. I'm going to adjust the, mic or the camera just to be up a little bit more so we get just a little more and hopefully you can see my uh, shoulders or my uh, Go together. There you go. Keep it going. Really working those arms today. All right. Here we go. Keep going. Nice. Squeeze it up tight at the top. Breathe. Okay, let's go for five more. Here's five, four, three, two, last one. Keep those going. Let me sway in that back. And shoulders. All right, let's breathe. Take some water. I'm gonna go over the next two exercises that we're gonna do so you can choose your weight. We're going to do a side, bringing it back down, um, and then we're going to do an overhead tricep extension. We've done those before, so typically that's a little heavier weight because you're only using one. Now, if you're using water bottles or whatever, you might be able to put two of them, um, just keep them close together. Okay, so, Get ready, choose your weight for that side raise 
And again, we're going to have the glutes solid, tummy sucked in, shoulders are back, and let's bring it up. Okay, you don't want your shoulders hunched over here. You want to be chest out, shoulders back, and let's go. Squeeze. There you go, as you go up. Keep going. Nice. All right. Let's get three more here. There's one, two, and there's three. Okay, bring it down. We're going to go for that overhead tricep extension next. It's a little heavier there. Um, like I mentioned, when you put the weight in your hands, I want you to cradle the uh, one of the sides of the weight, okay? And it'll protect you so you don't drop it. Okay, so let's bring it up. Cradle it. Bring it overhead, okay? That same stance stands. Knees are bent. Glutes are tight. Tummy is in. And... Let's bring that weight down and press it up. You don't want to be swaying your back here. That's why you're holding your glutes and your tummy tight. That also helps make all of the work go into those triceps and squeeze it super tight. Breathe out as you go up. Keep breathing. Squeeze it up. We got five more. There's five. Four, three, two, and last one. All right, bring it down. And we're going to go back to those uh, side raises. All right, let's take a breath and let's bring it up. Keep that stance the same, those knees are slightly bent. Glutes are tight, tummy tight. Nice. Keep breathing. Okay, let's get five more here. Here's five, four, three, Two, last one. All right, squeezing it up. Okay, and then we'll be just a second here, and we're going to go for that very last one. So we'll get started here, and let's bring that weight. Remember, cradle the weight. The weight. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the tummy, and let's press it up. So I just glanced at the screen, and I do see that two people are watching. So perhaps uh, Carolyn and Mark are watching as well as Catherine. So I just didn't see a comment. Okay, keep pressing it up. Let's go for five more. Five, four, three, two. Squeeze it super tight at the top. And there's the last one. Okay, bring it down. Shake those wrists out. Shake those arms out. Get a drink. And then we'll get started on the next one. So the next two things, the first is going to be a bicep curl. So choose those weights uh, for, your, for you. And then the second one will be a push-up. So it'll just be down on the floor. Um, Push-ups, I'll, I'll demonstrate. Well, it'll be on the floor or on the wall um, or uh, on, your knee, uh, on your toes or your knees. So I'll demonstrate real quick before we get started. On the wall, we'll be here. You push it up and squeeze it up. Okay, press, squeeze it up. Floor, I'll show you those two when we get started. So let's go to those bicep curls. It's just a regular old curl. The weights will be palms up. We're going to hold our body the same way. Every, I say it every time, but glutes tight, tummy in, and squeeze it up. Squeeze your biceps as tight as you can at the top, and I want you to take it down super slow. So we're going to do these slow motion. 
Okay, slow up too. Works the muscles differently. Keep going. We're not going to do a ton of them because it's more intense. Let's get three more here. Okay, here's one. Breathe as you go up. Two. And last one. Squeeze it up. All right, bring it down. Okay, let's go either to the wall for a push-up or down on the floor. I'm going to uh, go with uh, knee push-ups today, but I'll demo uh, a high push-up. So you'll be on your toes. You want your shoulders above your wrists. You'll bring it down and squeeze it up. So that's a full push-up. A modified is here. Squeeze it up. Okay, let's begin. Breathe that air out as you go up. Let's get three more here. Here we go. Here's three, two, and one. All right. Shake those arms out. We're going back to those bicep curls here. And just a few. Okay, I'm going to go with a little lighter weight. As I mentioned, I'm just got a little soreness going on. Okay, so knees bent, glutes tight, tummy in, and let's begin. Squeeze it up. Keep going. Keep those elbows to your side. I'm going to switch out and go a little bit heavier. Keep going. Okay. Breathe. Coming in zoom tight. Nice job. That would be my little dog. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, one more. Make sure you're breathing. And we're going back to those push ups. And then we'll be finished. All right. Well, we'll be finished with this little station. Okay, bringing it down to the floor. Choose your position, either full or partial. And this time, let's take the push-ups wide. So a very wide push-up. I want those hands out wide and bring it down. Breathe. Keep breathing. All right, nice. Let's get five more here. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Nice job. All right. Let's take a bit of a break. Shake everything out. Of course, the, there's a lawn guy out there. Um, not from my yard, but someone else's, and my dog is going crazy. So I apologize. Okay, shake that all out. We're going to go next to a right leg side raise. So this is where I said if you need a chair, grab a chair. Um, but we're going to take that post leg, squeeze it tight. So squeeze your glutes tight, your leg as tight as you can, take your toes in the bottom of your shoes. And we're simply going to bring our right leg out to the side. If you don't have to touch, don't. Uh, if you need to touch, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to keep my uh, arms here. If you want them out here for balance, go for it. So let's begin. All right, keep it going. Tight as you can hold that body. That leg should be super tight, like I said. Grip in the bottom of your shoes, but your stomach should also be super tight. A few more here. We're going to do the right side, then the left, of course. Three, two, and last one. Okay, shake that leg out. We're going to go to the other side. Take a deep breath in. 
Blow the air out. Squeeze that post leg as tight as you can. And squeeze those toes and let's begin. Keep it going. All right, nice job. Keep it going, guys. Hold that tummy as tight as you can here. Ten more seconds. Three, two, our last one. All right, shake both those legs out. We're going to take the leg, right leg now back behind us. So you're going to be here. I'm going to show you two different ways you can do it. So you can come here and just bring it back, hold that tummy tight, or you can come all the way down and touch the floor and come back up. So it's up to you. That one takes a lot of balance. So keep it going. Your tummy should be tight. Use that balance. I'm going to go down to the floor again, just to demo. Keep it going. If you can get there, do it. One more time. All right. Let's come to the opposite leg. This time, your opposite leg will be your post. And we're going to bring it back. And here you go. Squeeze it back. Breathe. Remember that post leg should be super tight and those toes are gripping the bottom of your shoes. Bring it to the floor if you can. All right, nice job. Keep it going. Tummy should be tight. Those hands are wherever works for you. This is a lot of core work here. Oops. Go back. If you fall, that's okay. Or toggle. Just go back and start again. And let's rest. Okay. So that is a burning, I tell you. So here we go. We're going to go one leg up in the front, and we're just going to hold it. Just going to hold it for about 15 seconds. And then we'll switch to the other leg. Do what you need to hold your balance as far as your hands go. And obviously that chair is always there. Okay, switch to the other side. And hold that leg in front. That tummy again should be super tight. Two, one, and let's relax. Okay, we have two more things uh, that we're going to do. Um, and they're going to be a high plank and a low plank. We're going to do the high plank first. If you need to come down um, while you're doing this plank, that's fine. Just come back up to it. Now, I am going to tell you right now, uh, as far as a plank, you can use a wall like this. And what I want you to do, if, if you need to, and when you're using that wall, what I'm expecting is that you are squeezing your tummy as tight as you can Squeezing your glutes as tight as you can. It's the same way when we're down on the floor, but if you're using the wall, you have to really focus on holding it tight. So let's bring it here. This is going to be a high plank first, and I'm going to walk you through your positioning. So come where I'm at. I want you to squeeze your glutes as tight as you can, and I want you to squeeze your stomach muscles as tight as you can. Feel that contraction. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrists. Okay, make sure you're breathing. Now what I want you to pretend is that you have some like tug of war going on where someone's trying to pull you to the right or to the left or up or down and you're resisting. So now you're in a full, total engaged plank, if you can imagine that. So don't let them pull you right, don't let them pull you left, don't let, don't let them push you down or pull you up. You're totally as tight as you can be. We're going to go for 10 more seconds, guys. Breathe. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, shake it off. Shake those wrists out. We're now going to go to a low plank, okay? Roll those shoulders back real quick. Come down on your elbows. Same exact thing. Let's begin. So here, your shoulders should be above your elbows. If you put your hands flat on the floor, 
you should be, your eyeballs should be looking at your thumbs. Now I want you to squeeze those glutes and contract those abs as tight as you can. And let's hold it. Breathe. Oh, the whole time. Keep breathing. I want you to play that tug of war again. Think about it. You've got everything squeezed so tight that they can't push you or pull you. Breathe, hold it as long as you can. If you need to come to your knees, come to your knees. We have 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Guys, I want you to take your legs uh, and your toes together, and I want you to press back into child's pose. Walk your fingers forward. Stretch those shoulders out. If you can walk them even further, do so. That tummy should be sucked in. All right, now press up. We're going to come up into a standing position. So stand up. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, take those legs wide, and we're just going to stretch down just with a flat back, pressing your booty away from you, your hips away. You're just hinging basically at that waist and hold. Make sure you're breathing. Exhale. Let's take another deep breath in the mouth or in through the nose, sorry. And exhale out the mouth. Now I want you to drop your head forward and let your body fall forward. Let the weight of your neck pull your head down. Take another deep breath in through the nose. And exhale. In this position, if your hands are on the floor, you can always grab your elbows, which will help get you in even deeper stretch. For me, that also feels good on my upper back. It helps to stretch it out. All right, let's drop those hands. Take your feet a little bit wider. We're going to walk over to the left. And back over to the right. Back to center. Walk those feet together. Let's roll it up one vertebrae, vertebrae at a time. Okay, let's take that right arm across. And the left arm across. We've got a few more seconds here. Let's take for a nice tricep stretch. Take that right hand and pull it back. Yeah, Catherine, he was definitely saying hi to that uh, lawnmower guy. <laughs> Take the opposite arm over and stretch. All right, bring those arms down. And guys, that is it for the day. I hope you guys had a great workout, and I will see you soon.